Hi guys, welcome to Nareesh Reddy and this is Sudhakar and today we are going to discuss about uh, one more uh, the concept in SQL Server. The concept is called as a classes, okay. So here uh, in these classes and most important the two classes are there here, uh, one is group by and having classes, okay. So now let us see the group by and having classes how to use in my SQL Server database, okay. So let us see the first we will discuss, okay the two classes we are going to discuss in this session okay first class okay first class okay what my first class here group by clause so group by clause so now here observe so group by class basically uh, for what purpose i want to use uh, this class keyword means the reason is what now so whenever you want to go to group your similar data in the table Okay. So, when I am going to grouping the data in the table, then I can use this group by class. Okay. So, group by class we are going to using especially what I said here. Okay. It is used, it is used, it is used to grouping the similar data based on the columns, based on the columns. So, when I want to go the similar data, when I want to go to grouping, to group my similar data based on a particular column in the table, then I can use this group by class keyword. Group by class keyword where I can use means, for example, I have a company. So, in the company, we have different kind of departments are there, okay. For example, one company was there or uh, in the company, some uh, like your Java department, HR department, financial department, .NET department was there. So, .NET, Java, HR, finance. So, these are some departments are there in the company, okay. So, you know that in each department some employees are working, okay. So, uh, some people are working in Java department, some people are working in .NET, some people are working in HR and financial sector, financial department. So, in these departments some people are working. Now, what I want to do here, I want to calculate the total salary of each department. So, department wise uh, the salaries I want to require. Like a department wise, I want to find out number of employees, how many employees are working in each department. So, these kind of operations, when I want to perform the group of data, okay, perform on the group of data, then I can use what it is here, group by class keyword, okay. So, that is why I said here, group by class keyword is used to grouping the similar data based on the columns. So, now here, when this is the first reason. Okay, to finding the group of uh, people, how many people are working in a particular department, okay, number of employees are working in each department wise, okay, how many people are working in the particular location wise. So, this kind of operations I can do it uh, on my, okay, by using group by class keyword, okay. This is the main purpose of group by class keyword. For what purpose I want to use here? Grouping purpose, okay. So, let us see one example I will show you how the group by class keyword will be used on similar grouping data, okay. So, now I just come out here. So, now I am going to open my SQL Server Management Studio and later I will be connected here. So, now see here. So, after connecting here to take your database now, okay. Now, I just go to uh, to click on my new query option in SQL Server Management Studio. So, now I click on SQL Server Management Studio and I selected here my required database I want to select my class. After selected my class database here, okay. So, first uh, I will show you some uh, table information uh, in this database, okay. So, we have one table here, the EMP table was there and to execute this table. So, after executed this table, now you can see the table complete information was displaying to you, okay. Now, you can see that complete information. So, this is my complete table information, what we have it here, EMP number, name, jobs, hiring date, salary and finally, department number, okay. So, now what I want to do, in this, I want to take any one column. For example, I want to take here job column, I will take it. In job column, can you see there are different kind of jobs are there. Okay. For example, uh, you can see that in your job job column, okay, in your job column. Now, for example, your clerk was there, is a one job clerk and salesman is a another job and manager, okay, analyst and finally, president. So, these are total five jobs are there in this table, okay. So, now what I want to do, that means 
total in my table total employees you can check the total employees is 15 employees are there but out of 15 employees okay this these 15 employees are working in five jobs somebody working in clerk somebody working in salesman somebody is working on analyst somebody working on manager somebody is working on president so in these jobs the 15 employees are working so 15 employees are working i know but i want to find out here the what i want to find out so in each job how many employees are working for example assume like this here when come to my job column clerk was there okay so in this clerk again is there any other person who is working in clerk that i want to check for example so one person was there up to now and uh, there is no other person yes the two three more persons are working so that means so three and this person is four that means total how many people are working in clerk job means four people are working so like this the count of employees in the job is clerk so four employees we find out like the same to same i want to find out each job wise the counting employees i want to find out that means how many employees are working in each job that i want to know so to knowing purpose what i want to do before i want to know the number of employees in each job first what i want to do here in this job column whatever the five different jobs are there that each job i want to separate as a group okay i want separating separate groups i want to divide so once the separate groups are divided then what i want to do the similar information whatever it is there the similar information will be placing into the related groups one by one so after placing then later i can perform some calculations to perform the count of employee i want to know for example then i can use my aggregative function one is one of the aggregative function is what now count function so count function i am using to finding the number of employees in each job okay so this is my question my question is what is now now i am showing here to find out or to find out or else i want to know the number of employees working in each job okay for that purpose what i want to do here okay i am going to use my grouping class the group by class i want to use now so now finally i want to know i want to know the number of employees working in particular job okay so job wise number of employees i want to find out for this purpose what i am doing here i am going to writing here select what i want to display job so job column i want to display now but job information i want to display along with the count of employees as of no so that's why i will take your one of the aggregative function or grouping function that function is what now count of star so count of star from the table emp and after that before i want to count the number of employees are there in how many employees are there in each job first of all the data should be group so now i want to group my similar data based on the column so which column data i want to group now job column so now i am taking your job so once i was taken job then what it is happen you can see select a job okay that means i am going to display my job details so along with the count of star count of star will be finding the count of people or count of rows count of people or count of similar data or similar values in the particular column so that is count from emp group by job so once i will go to execute this query then you can see that so the job wise people the counting people was came yes or no so that means you can see in analyst job how many employees are working here three people like a clerk four people like manager three president one salesman four so that means these are what now the number of employees working in each job okay so now this is the way i can use my group by keyword so when i use my group by keyword first what it is happen the total five jobs are there in my table so five jobs are divided see uh, how it was divided here analyst analyst is a one group clerk is another group like a manager like a president and like a salesman so the five jobs are there the five jobs will be divided one by one after dividing then what i was finding here number of employees i am going to finding okay so now each job wise number of each job wise number of employees sir we will find out finally okay but whatever here the no column was there no column name if you want to avoid this i can use my alias name so alias name is what now then i can say okay number of 
employee simply so once he was giving here alias name and to execute now we can see the job details and job information that means job names and number of employees are working so this is what it is here the grouping function or grouping class keyword the grouping class keyword advantage when you want to perform your operations on group of similar data okay but here what are the group by keyword i used here this group by keyword i used only single column that means i am going to grouping i am going to grouping a single column data based on a single column data i was performed here grouping operation yes or no but even though even though if same to same okay now we can see for example here count of people i find out for example i want to find out the job wise salary then how to write here then i can write now select the job okay one more function is there in my grouping function that is called a sum of salary from okay my table name is emp okay then i can use my group by class keyword and again same job so this time once i executed this query what it is happen this time it will be finding the total salary or sum of salary of each group Okay, so now see your analyst uh, the total salary how much you are a one lakh twenty thousand like a clerk sixty four thousand manager one lakh eighty nine thousand president ninety eight thousand salesman two lakh seventy seven thousands. So that means the what you identify here group wise that means the job wise I was finding your total salary. Okay, so like this any function. So what are the grouping functions are there that all grouping functions one by one you can use it. For example, in the same pattern, if I want to find out, uh, okay, so at a time I am going to see here. For example, select a job. Okay, now this time what I am finding here maximum salary. Okay, for job wise, in the same to same I will finding here minimum salary, and the same to same I am finding here average of salary. Okay, so this time what I am doing here, I am going to perform all grouping functions on my job column. So EMP and later I will be use uh, group by and finally I can take here what now job. Okay, so once I was taken like this here, then you can see I just uh, select this executed here. Okay, then what does happen? The maximum salary, these are the maximum, minimum, and average of salaries. So all uh, all kind of uh, the information I can find out based on the grouping of data. Yes or no? But if you know no column, no column. If you want to avoid this, then you can use your what you can use. Uh, now I can use your max cell that alias name, and here also I am using your min cell the alias name, and here I can use uh, AVG average cell. Okay, and later from EMP group uh, by job. So now again I will go to to execute this query. Then you can see then it was displayed. So jobs this is maximum salary, minimum salary, and average salaries. so each and everything that means number of employees in each job total salary of the each job and maximum salary of the each job and minimum salaries as well as average salaries this is all grouping functions you can use along with your group by class keyword okay but whatever the operations i performed here this group by class keyword i was applied only single column can you see this so i was applied only single column job column but if i want to apply more than one column even though we can apply here the group by class keyword on multiple columns also for example one multiple column example we will discuss now okay so what is multiple columns here in the same to same before i want to work with that then i am going to show you emp table to execute it now so now this time what i am doing here i want to find out number of employees working in each job along with their department number wise okay so that means the two columns i am taking here in this example one is job column as well as department number column but job column already we discuss there are five jobs are there clerk salesman manager analyst and president but when come to department number when you see the department number the what kind of numbers are there here you just check out now okay so one is we have it 10 20 30 so i have your three department numbers 10 20 30 but these are three department numbers are there 10 20 30 so based on department number as well as job then i can go to group my data and later i want to find out how many people are working okay in each job along with the department number wise okay so at this moment what i want to need here i want to need to use uh, the two columns i want to use it now okay so one is what we can say one is what we can say one is a job okay one is department number so now i'm going to writing here job okay comma and later i want to take here count of star 
Okay, I am taking your count of star and later I will take your second column. What is my second column here? DPT number. So, DPT number from the same table EMP and later you can go for group by. So, now I will take your job comma DPT number. Okay, so once I will go to check here like this and to execute it now, then you can see I was taken here two. Okay, I was taken here two. Then what did this happen? You can see that. Okay, the two columns I was taken here. So now the final output, otherwise no column name is there. This is I can say the number of employees I can say here. So I will go for to take here number of uh, employee. Okay, and finally I am going to execute at this one the group by class keyword I was applied on multiple columns and to execute it and see this. Now you can see clerk. Okay, so in clerk department, okay, so department number 10 and clerk only one person was there. In the same to same department number 10, manager only one person. So department number 10, president only one person is working. Like department 20, analyst, the three people are working in analyst department. So like department number 20, clerk, two people are working. Like 20, manager, one person. Like 30, clerk one person like a 30 manager one employee like 30 salesman four employees so that means here what it is happened here i was finding number of employees i was finding number of employees based on job and uh, department number column so that means the two columns at a time i was used uh, by using your group by class so that means what do you understand by seeing this okay that means the group by class keyword can be applied on multiple columns also so at a time you can use okay the group by class keyword on multiple columns when you want to perform some operations on grouping data yes or no so this is what it is here group by class keyword use and how to work on your table data yes or no so now this is one thing we will discuss this is the purpose of your grouping class keyword. But later along with grouping class keyword, okay, I said here, okay, along with grouping class keyword, the one more key was there that is called a what is now having keyword. So this having class or having keyword how to use, then I can go to check now. So I will take your having class, okay, how we are working with your having class now. So now group by class we understand and now we will go to having class keyword. Okay, so let us see having keyword how we can use uh, along with my group by class. Okay, so let us see now. Now we are going to discuss your having class keyword. Okay, in this having class keyword, okay, basically having class keyword where and how I can use it uh, means, okay, first of all, I will uh, give some information about your having class keyword. So having class keyword when I want to use means, so whenever I want to filter the records after, after grouping, so after grouping the data okay so after grouping the data when you want to go to filter your records then you can use a having clause okay so this is the what the purpose of having class but remember when you want to use having class having class can be used having class can be used along with the group by class keyword only so that means what i'm saying here having can be can be used along with uh, along with uh, which class keyword here group by group by clause so without group by you can't use your having keyword so having keyword is always used along with your group by keyword only because you know having class keyword is used for filtering the records after grouping the data i said so after grouping the data means what it is here first of all i want to apply group by class once you applied group by class then a particular column data will be grouping after grouping then it will be go to filter that filtering purpose i can use what now having keyword okay so let us see one example i will show you having keyword how we can use it okay for example for example here what we find out in previously if i want to know the number of employees working in each job for that purpose are you writing your query like this here so select a job later i am using one aggregative function or grouping function from emp and later i am using what now group by job okay this is what we done but when I'm going to using like this, what is happening here? So it will be showing, 
it will be showing the number of employees in each job okay fine so the number of employees in each job it was finding your 3 4 3 1 4 it was that okay so now along with this grouping data so after grouping here five records are showing so this is first record okay first record so second row third fourth and five rows so that means 15 rows are there in my table those 15 rows after grouping it was come out uh, five rows again this five rows on this five rows again i want to add uh, some additional condition to take my required uh, job details then again i can use my having keyword so having keyword i'm using now what i'm saying here so which job which job contains which job contains the number of employees are less than four okay so that means what it is here i want to display my jobs information i want to display jobs okay in which job number of employee is less than four the number of employees less than four so at this moment i want to need here having condition okay so now i'm using having condition having so now we can write uh, what i want to write here count of star less than four so now tell me count of star less than four okay the which jobs are there here one is analyst one is manager one is president so analyst manager president these are having less than four employees the count of employees is how much now less than four so now we can see once i will execute at this one okay now we can see i got it now so analyst manager president is got it because in these jobs or in this job only the number of people are less than four so whenever you want to add whenever you want to add some additional condition otherwise you can say like this whenever you want to add some additional condition after grouping the data then i can use having keyword then i can use what now having keyword but remember having keyword is always work with the group by class keyword only so without group by for example if i remove this i remove this i'm using only directly okay so i'm using only directly here job having count of less than four if i executed this then it will going to show compilation error okay so what is the compilation error here emp dot job is invalid the select list because it is not contained it not contained what it is not contained here group by clause okay so that's why having keyword is always having keyword is always using along with the group by class keyword only is or no so this is one example for example another example also we will see by using having keyword what is that means for example i will go for here job okay now i want to find out the total salaries of each job okay for that purpose we are writing the query like this here so emp so later what i want to write here group by so and finally i can give job but when i execute it like this here this is my the all jobs total salaries are displayed but here i want to know i want to take uh, as per the condition what i want to need here which job total salary is greater than is greater than 1 lakh is greater than 1 lakh so for example you can see the which job total salary is greater than 1 lakh my question so greater than 1 lakh what it is there analyst okay so next uh, manager next uh, salesman so that means president and clerk these are less than one lakh total salary so that's why these two records will not uh, come out so that means what i want to do as this condition if you want to apply so now i can apply like by using having the sum of a uh, salary okay i want to say what i say here greater than one lakh i was give it greater than one lakh and now we can see as per the condition so which jobs are displayed here analyst manager and salesman because these jobs are having more than or greater than one lakh total salary yes or no? so this kind of uh, the conditions when you want to add uh, after grouping the data when you want to apply any condition then you can use your having keyword so that means finally what i'm saying here having and group by these two class keywords should be used along with that okay so along with together or along with these two keywords i can perform my grouping operations okay so this is what it is here group by and having keywords these are the two important keywords when you perform the operations on grouping data 
So, group by class, it is only for grouping the similar data purpose I can use and having class I can use after grouping the data, if I want to filter or I want to add some additional conditions on my grouping data, then you can use a having class keyword. Okay. So, these are like a pair keywords, you should be used when you are using grouping as well as uh, otherwise you can use some additional conditions if you want to add after grouping then you should be used having class keywords okay so these are the two classes okay we are using when you want to perform grouping operations okay so so i think you can understand this video okay thank you thank you for watching